And our breaking news on RT, Russian President Vladimir Putin has announced the end of his marriage. Let's now talk to RT's Marina Kosorova. Marina, so we've heard from the couples themselves and it was on TV. Exactly, and this is something that the Russian people were definitely not expecting to be done or announced, in fact, this way. Of course, they are ending years of speculation about their relationship. They haven't been pictured together very often in recent times. So the Russian people did have a feeling that something is wrong. But again, because Vladimir Putin himself promotes traditional values all the time, even if there was something wrong in their relationship, I believe that the Russian people thought we would not see it come down to a divorce. But again, the couple announced this decision after attending a ballet performance. And in fact, we can hear what they had to say themselves. My job and all my activities mean I'm an absolutely public figure. Some people enjoy this and some don't. But some people are simply incompatible with such a lifestyle. My wife, Ludmilla, has done a nine-year shift by my side. Basically, the decision was mutual. Like Vladimir said, it was in fact a mutual decision. Our marriage is over because we barely see each other. His job keeps him completely busy. Our children have grown up. They live their own lives now. We all do. I really don't like being in the spotlight. All the constant traveling is difficult for me. We simply don't see each other. Exactly, as uh, she said, Ludmila Putina there, that they don't see each other. And in fact, we have not seen them together often recently. And also the two daughters that she mentioned, obviously, that they have, we have never seen any photographs of them released to the public eye before. No family portrait as that as well. And they've been married for 30 years. So this is quite shocking. And the way it's done, as you mentioned, it, the way the announcement was done is, is surprising because quite simply it could have been a press release from the Kremlin exactly. but they're handling a very personal matter so publicly. And Vladimir Putin barely ever speaks about his personal exactly. life and whenever he's asked he tries to stay away from that subject matter which is why as you said this is it's the split itself is not shocking but the way it was done I believe it is. And let's not forget that Russia is still at large a conservative society and we haven't seen a leader in recent times get a divorce. It's something that the West might be used to. We know, for example, in Europe with the likes of Silvio Berlusconi, Nicolas Sarkozy, but by all means we do not expect the Russian president to be going through with a divorce. And how will Russian media react to this tomorrow? Oh, we can expect to see some pretty, pretty juicy headlines tomorrow. Let me tell you, I know that there will be speculations as to why the marriage, the marriage ended, as there have been speculations already for many years because they weren't pictured together. So we can expect to see, as I said, a lot of juicy things tomorrow. All right, Marina, thank you very much indeed for that. And of course, we'll get more reaction over the next few hours on this uh, breaking news story. In the meantime, Marina Kosara, thank you very much indeed.